Okay, hello everybody. We are standing here in Gandhi Square and I'm going to hand you over to Charlie who's going to tell us all about the history of the square and Gandhi in South Africa. I do understand. If you say I'm going to tell you all about the history of Gandhi Square and Gandhi in South Africa, we will need at least three hours. Yeah. Right here in this square alone because quite a lot of history happened here. But we don't have three hours, we're on a walking tour. So um, I will try and summarize Gandhi's history in like a few minutes. Cool. Yes, this is a Gandhi Square. Uh, it was named after Mahan, Mahatma Gandhi, believe it or not, because Gandhi lived 21 years of his life in South Africa. 14 of those years he lived in Johannesburg. Came in as a young man, he was a business lawyer, he studied law in London. He was sent to uh, KwaZulu Natal. From KwaZulu, he decided to take a trip to come to Johannesburg, which was a life changing trip for Gandhi because along the way in Peter Maritzburg, he was thrown out of a train. He told he was not good enough to be on a first class mm. because of the color of his skin. It was the first time he experienced racism at a personal level. Don't get me wrong, Gandhi was not an innocent man. He said quite of the most disturbing statements in his life. Very racist. And also he was very disrespectful and chauvinistic to women. Yes, he viewed women as objects, not as people, not as equals at all. So Gandhi's history in this country is somewhat questionable. There are some people that would call for Gandhi's sculptures or statues to be um, destroyed, demolished. But in this country, he actually made a significant change, nonetheless. He arrived in Jobek from KwaZulu-Natal, from KwaZulu and when he was here, he was a business lawyer. You know, he practiced law right here in this square. The very first courthouse was in this square as well. His law offices were right on the corner. You see where McDonald's is on the other side right behind McDonald's. That's where his law office is. McDonald's will, will take over everything. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see McDonald's, I see stairs. You see stairs, but on the bottom of the stairs, there's a McDonald's there. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. So um, that's where his law office was. He spent most of his time in this square. And he actually, when he was here, his um, clients were banks. He was a business lawyer. As much as he was good enough to win cases for the banks, he was not good enough to walk into the front door of the same banks that won cases for because of the color of his skin. Mm. 